and hereditary changes. We know heredity is the transfer of biological characters from one generation to another via genes. Johann Gregor Mendel is pioneer of the modern genetics. After a long research, he gave some conclusions about heredity. In 1901, the reason behind the sudden changes were understood due to the mutational theory of Hugo de Vries. Later in 1902, Walter Sutton observed the paired chromosomes in the cells of a grasshopper. Until then, chromosomes were not known to anyone. Research started in the direction of finding the nature of genetic material when it was proved that genes are carried via chromosomes. In the year 1944, trio of scientists Oswald Avery, Macklin McCarthy and Colin McLeod proved that, except viruses, all living organisms have DNA as genetic material. In 1961, the French geneticists Francis Jacob and Jack Monard proposed a model for process of protein synthesis with the help of bacterial cells. It helped to uncover the genetic models hidden in a DNA. Thereby, the technique of recombinant DNA technology emerged which has vast scope in the field of genetic engineering. We have already studied about genetic disorders in our previous grade. Come, let us quickly revise about it. Diseases or disorders occurring due to abnormalities in chromosomes and mutations in genes are called genetic disorders. Physical disorders like cleft lip, albinism, and physiological disorders like sickle cell anemia, hemophilia are some examples of genetic disorders. The science of heredity is useful for diagnosis, treatment and prevention of hereditary disorders, production of hybrid varieties of animals and plants and in industrial processes in which microbes are used. To have a better understanding about the next part of the chapter, we need to quickly revise about some points that we have studied about DNA and various types of RNA in our previous grade. First, let us draw the structure of a DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It is a double helix structure. Each strand in the molecule of DNA is made up of many small molecules known as nucleotide. Nucleotide is made up of three main components. Deoxyribose sugar, phosphate group and nitrogen base. Nitrogen bases are of four types. Adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. These nitrogen bases are grouped into two types, purines and pyrimidines. Adenine and guanine are called purines, while cytosine and thymine are called pyrimidines. In the structure of a nucleotide, a molecule of a nitrogen base and phosphoric acid are each joined to a molecule of sugar. As there are four types of nitrogen bases, nucleotides are also of four types. The two strands of the DNA molecule are comparable to the two rails of a ladder and each rail is made up of alternately joined to a molecule of sugar and phosphoric acid. Each rung of the ladder is a pair of nitrogenous bases joined by hydrogen bonds. Adenine always pairs with thymine and cytosine always pairs with guanine. After DNA, let us revise about the types of RNA. RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. This nucleic acid is made up of ribose sugar, phosphate molecule 
and four types of nitrogen bases adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. The nucleotide, that is the smallest unit of the chain of the RNA molecule, is formed by combination of a ribose sugar, phosphate molecule, and one of the nitrogen bases. Large number of nucleotides are bonded together to form the macromolecule of RNA. According to function, there are three types of RNA. rRNA, mRNA, and tRNA. rRNA, that is, ribosomal RNA, is a molecule of RNA which is a component of the ribosomal organelle. Ribosomes perform the function of protein synthesis. mRNA, that is, messenger RNA, is a RNA molecule that carries the information of protein synthesis from genes to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm which produce the proteins. tRNA, that is, transfer RNA, is a RNA molecule which according to the message of the mRNA, carries the amino acid up to the ribosomes. After this quick revision about DNA and the types of RNA, we are now ready to study the next concept of this chapter. So come on, let's proceed to the next part of the chapter. Transcription, Translation and Translocation With the help of the genes present in the DNA participate in the functioning of cell and thereby control the structure and functioning of the body. Information about protein synthesis is stored in the DNA and synthesis of appropriate proteins as per requirement is necessary for the body. These proteins are synthesized by DNA through the RNA. This is called central dogma. mRNA is produced as per the sequence of nucleotides on DNA. Only one of the two strands of DNA is used in this process. The sequence of nucleotides in the mRNA that is being produced is always complementary to the DNA strand used for synthesis. Besides, there is uracil in RNA instead of thymine of DNA. This process of RNA synthesis is called transcription. The mRNA formed in nucleus comes in cytoplasm. It brings in the coded message from DNA. This message contains the codes for amino acids. The code for each amino acid consists of three nucleotides. It is called triplet codon. Dr. Hargobind Khurana, a scientist of Indian origin, has made an important contribution in the discovery of triplet codons for 20 amino acids. For this work, he has been awarded with the Nobel Prize in the year 1968 along with two other scientists. Each mRNA is made up of thousands of triplet codons. As per the message on mRNA, amino acids are supplied by the tRNA. For this purpose, tRNA has anticodons that have complementary sequence to the codon on mRNA. This is called translation. The amino acids brought by the tRNA are bonded together by peptide bonds with the help of rRNA. During this process, the ribosome keeps on moving from one end of mRNA to the other end by the distance of one triplet codon. This is called translocation. Such many chains come together to form complex proteins. These proteins control various functions in the body of the living organisms and their appearance too. Living organisms can produce new individuals like themselves due to genes only and some of those genes are transmitted to the next generation without any changes. Due to this, some of the characters of parents are transmitted to their offsprings. However, 
Sometimes sudden changes occur in those genes. Sometimes any nucleotide of the gene changes its position that causes a minor change which is nothing but mutation. Some mutations may be minor but some may be considerable. For example, mutation may cause the genetic disorders like sickle cell anemia. Mutation is an everlasting process and it is one of the proofs of Darwin's theory of natural selection. Come, let us now study about the concept of evolution.